Hey guys, it's Cassie from And Other Lovelies, and I am here today to share a quick look at a 6x8 layout that I made. So I pulled out some watercolors for this layout here, and I actually, through pure laziness, I could not find my brushes, and I was trying to figure out how I was going to get some watercolor onto the paper. And so I ended up just spraying into the watercolor palette with the, the shades of pink and red that I wanted and then just sticking packaging on top of it and smushing it around using the packaging technique. And I absolutely love how it turned out. I wish I would have had it recorded when I when I did the very first um, splishes <laughs> across the paper because it worked so well just to be able to grab those colors that were all adjacent to each other on the watercolor palette. So I'm showing you here the mood board that inspired this page. This is the October Wild Hair Kit mood board put together by Sam Adams, one of our design team members. And I decided to use it as a point of inspiration. Grabbed an 8 by 11 sheet of cardstock that I uh, just purchased in bulk from, from Michaels or Hobby Lobby and gessoed the page and tried to mimic the uh, watercolor effect that was included in that mood board. Now, I have to be honest with you guys, as I was working on this page here, I almost crossed over to the dark side of eight and a half by 11 scrapbooking because I loved how the mixed media was balanced with all of the white space on that paper. And I seriously thought about just making an eight and a half by 11 page because of how pretty the paper looked. Um, it was a little bit difficult to decide to cut it down to six by eight, but I don't have any larger album page protectors or, or places to put it. So I said, you know, okay, I have the albums. I'm just going to cut this down and make it work and appreciate the background that I created. Um, but I, it, it definitely sparked an interest and I totally get why so many of you scrap in 12 by 12 or larger scale format because you just have more places to put the pretty things um, and, and you can see more of the background when you have more space. So you probably watched me there kind of flipping around the paper, you know, forwards, backwards, side to side, trying to figure out which direction I wanted the watercolor effect. I end up keeping it this way with kind of that lighter reddish tint splotch up to the top. I really like how you could see the tonal change there between the shades of pink and I didn't want that to get covered up by my picture. This is a picture of my mom and my two sisters and I. I think it was taken last Thanksgiving maybe. It had just started to snow and we, we all ran outside to take this picture. And I, I just love that we're all smiling and looking at the camera and the fall colors in it. Uh, which is what made me choose it because the autumn theme in the, in the mood board. So my wild hair kit this month was a petite kit, which means it's the smaller version of the kit, but everything that I used, except for one sticker, came from that kit. So the reason I emphasize that is I think you get enough within even the smaller kits to make some great pages. Um, and the tag that you see there over on the left was from a cut apart sheet that was included in my kit. Um, Let's see, I dive into using some of the Wild Heart stickers for some of the embellishments on this page. And you'll see me kind of flip between um, adding items, removing items. One of the things that was on the mood board, so I mentioned the watercolor effect. I created that in my background. Another thing that popped out to me on the mood board is there was this giant floral cluster in the middle of the mood board. and. Although I didn't have any florals included in my kit, there were a bunch of leaf, leaf and f um, fern shapes. And so although this is more of an autumn feel, I thought I could use those leaves to kind of emulate what was included in the mood board without it being flowers. So you'll see me add a couple different pieces there to the page um, just to kind of pull that idea in from, from the mood board. Another thing that was included on the mood board was a really pretty script word on a, a little pumpkin in, in one of the photos. And so I pulled out these stickers from my stash and end up grabbing one that says love. And I'm going to create a title with a few different fonts, this one from my stash, and then I'm going to grab a couple other sticker sheets stickers from this page here to finish out the title so that it ends up saying love this moment. I haven't done any journaling for this. I honestly don't have strong memories about this specific moment except that it was snowing and it was a hey let's all take a photo together moment. So I, I didn't include any journaling on this page. It was more just for the fun of creating it. Uh, an excuse to get out my watercolors and, and kind of have fun putting it together. 
So here you'll see me finishing up that title, and I went back and forth because moment has the word mom in it. I was thinking, oh, should I make this page just about my mom and what a great mom she is, and, and you know, since it's her and, and my sisters and I in the photo, um, but decided that I wouldn't be able to spell anything else with the ENT, so figured I should just use up the whole whole sticker that was included. This was the second layout that I made with this kit, so you can see that the sticker sheet has been a little bit used, but I still had a hard time deciding what to add to the layout. You can see me picking things up off of the page and then setting them back down just as I'm trying to decide what, what do I want to use and how do I want this page to come together. It's hard to believe that Thanksgiving's going to be here again um, in just a short, a short few weeks. I am probably headed up to my parents' house for Thanksgiving. We, we usually celebrate there, and I'm not much of a cook, so I doubt I will be hosting Thanksgiving in, in the near future. Do you guys stay home for Thanksgiving, or do you do much traveling? I know some people will, will be traveling just by car. Some people have um, long trips planned for, for that holiday weekend. For me, it's just about a two-hour drive north, so um, not much, but I always appreciate the time with, with family. Here I'm using those uh, leaf stickers that I mentioned. Sorry, back to the layout. Um, and I try to create some triangles with the shapes. When I, when I found myself struggling with the page, I ended up adding in one of those blue labels. And what that did is it kind of allowed the layout to transition from being monochromatic and only pinks to almost giving myself permission to add in blues, greens, aquas, and kind of make that change from just the pink looks and feels to, to adding in those other colors. And I really love how that turned out. You'll notice groups of three in terms of those hearts. There's one at the top and two at the bottom. The leaves, there are, or leaves, there's three green ones scattered across the page. And when I cut off one, I often will try to save the other piece to be able to put it on another spot on the page. And then one of the last things that I'm going to do here is you notice I cut off the side of that tag. I just had those scraps lying around on my desk and thought, how could I pull in some more brown to this layout? And so I end up grabbing just those cutoffs here and, and gluing one down across the bottom under moment, part of the title. And then I'm going to grab that very last scrap and pull it to the top. So again, creating that three-point triangle around the page with the color, that cork brown that was on the tag. All in all, I love how this page turned out. I like mixing pink and green. To me, it has a really like southern preppy feel to it. And although the photo here is autumn and there's those warm browns, I like the mix of the pop of pink so that it's not only traditional autumn colors. So I hope you guys will be inspired to take a peek at the Wild Hair Kids mood board and maybe create a page of your own. If you do, I'd love to see it. Please feel free to link to it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Have a great day guys. Bye.